look what came in the mail, all the way from Italy. Let's get into these beautiful art supplies. I've never tried them before and I won them, as I've said, over on Instagram. A lady was running a giveaway and I happened to be the lucky winner. And she has an Etsy shop where she uses these paint pens to decorate stones that she sells in her shop. And you can see her business card here. She is called F. Senisba and she's Italian and it's hand painted stones and you'll see in a minute throughout the video some of her work. Plus, how I get on with the pens. So, let's get into them. They came beautifully wrapped for a start. I've unwrapped them because I was too excited to get into them. But this is the size. It was quite small. I thought the pens would be, I don't know, probably in a plastic thing. Um, like felt tips come in. I thought they'd be longer. But anyway, it's a nice, cute little box. And the lady wrapped them in gift wrap. It was very beautifully done in kind of gold gift wrap. So we'll it's just some plastic here just to it's like sellotape just to do. Okay, so it opens like that. And these are the new uh, Artistro special colours and there's 15. I've wanted to try this brand for a long time. Um, they've only just come into Amazon France. So I was really pleased that I had some luck and um, won that giveaway. It's very exciting to try new art supplies anyway. Um, there's a little card in here from Artistro and they say that they're modern art materials and it says that you can see here, thank you for choosing Artistro. If you've noticed any issues with Artistro paint pens, please contact us and then it says that they are family operated business and would highly appreciate if I could leave product reviews on Amazon, which is where they sell their stuff. And also, I'm going to be sharing my artwork that I create with them with the, the lady that sent the pens and also with Artistro. Um, they're on Instagram. So whenever I do artwork, I'll share it to Instagram and share it with them. And it says that they have an Artistro channel on Facebook and Instagram. And that it says, you see, that these pens can work on glass. So at the bottom of this little leaflet that's included, you can probably read it better there than I can. It says how to cure the, these paint pens on glass or ceramic so I'll read it because it's awkward angle there so it says make sure that the surface is thoroughly cleaned and you can use rubbing alcohol and I use that a lot just to wipe down your surface before you start painting it gets rid of grease really quickly it says, don't forget to remove all price stickers, otherwise it will burn when you bake. And that's a good tip. Don't be too previous and excited like me. 
Once you're happy with your design, let it air dry for 24 hours before baking. This will ensure proper adhesion of the design on the surface. After fully drying, place your project into a cold oven. Turn the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 175 Celsius. I'm really pleased that they put the equivalent um, on, on this little instruction leaflet. It's very helpful because sometimes if things are <clears throat> only in Fahrenheit and you're in a country that operates in Celsius, it's quite annoying. So that's helpful that they've put that. Okay, so then it says, set a timer for one hour. Once the hour is up, turn off your oven and open it. Let the project cool down and completely inside of the oven. So let the project cool down completely inside the oven. I understand, okay. And then obviously you can take it out and it will be, I assume, um, you can then wash it. Probably not dishwasher. But I mean, dishwashers are so harsh for artwork anyway. So it says, hand washing in warm water is the best option to wash the surface. We do not recommend using dishwashers or heavy duty sponges. Remember, there is always a chance to scratch the paint. Be extra careful with the project. Yeah. Okay. So that's a nice little instruction leaflet. And now we're going to have a look at all these pens. 15 colours. A brand new colours. And I have to say my first one I'm liking the look of is this lovely pink one. It, I mean, I do love pink. I think most people that follow me know that I kind of like pink a lot. I try, if I'm doing artwork for selling in my Etsy shop, to not do too much pink if I can help it, so that my work will be universal for everybody, not just for girls. And then um, we've got this nice-looking turquoise. And they're all shrink-wrapped, so I'll have to get back to you in a minute after I've undone all the plastic, because they're all, you can see, it's going to be, I'm going to need a knife. But they're all extra fine points. You see that on there? Extra fine. So I'll be back in a minute. The plastic does come off rather easily. You just kind of split it with, you know, kind of you cut it with your nail or something through the, the little cap, the gap in the cap there, before you take it off. I understand why this plastic, because you don't want the air getting to them before, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody buys them, you know, because it is acrylic paint, I'm assuming, in here, or some kind of paint anyway, but you don't want it drying out before people have bought them. So it just helps having them protected in the plastic. So you can kind of just break the plastic with your, your nail quite easily and then you just, they slip off the plastic quite easily. It's much, <coughs> excuse me, much easier plastic than some pens I've used in the past where the plastic's really thick and uh, sharp to, to unwrap. So we'll just do that. So we're on four pens I've done so far. It looks like there's a black and a white. I do love that. I think it's going to be a nice colour selection. And there looks like a light blue and a dark blue. And a light green and a dark green plus turquoise. So yeah. Looking forward to trying them. Definitely coming back in a minute because it's still going to take me a while. They're all unwrapped now. You can see just at the back here the plastic. So it took a while, but yes, we're finally unwrapped. 
and don't they look gorgeous? Can't wait to try them. So I've got some watercolour paper and a pre-sketched apple and I'm going to try this green light green pen to start with and there are instructions and it says here if you can see I'm not sure there you have to shake with the cap off push the cap down and then draw and recap it so the cap is off we'll shake We'll push. And we'll recap. Oh no, we won't. It says to paint and then recap. Yes. So I'll just. Can you see the paint coming down here? And recap. There is a slight smell to them. I will say that not not very strong but a slight smell. I have to say the paints come out of these much easier than the Posca pens I've got and they are a um, I would say they're the same kind of point probably a little bit thinner the Posca's I've got. Um, yeah and the paint as I said has come out much better and they work better on paper. You see, you can get, it's very nice, very smooth. The problem, as I said, with Posca pens, that's my only comparison I can give, is that they don't work well on paper. Well, the fine nibbed anyway. They're very scratchy. I haven't got any um, thicker tipped. Maybe they work better. But this is an, it's called Extra Fine Point. And it's not scratching the paper at all. And I think these are made in America. I think it's Italian ink. Made in America. I'll have to see if it says so on the box. But so far it's not looking patchy. I was thinking with such a small nib it's going to look patchy. It says on the box here. Optimal Way Incorporated, New York, USA. Made in China. They're water-based. Um, it has the glass and ceramic instructions that I read to you earlier on the side of the box here. The other side, you see. It says also, uh, they're non-toxic and do not paint in contact with food, even though they're non-toxic. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell me whether they're acrylic-based acrylic or not, but We'll have fun creating this apple with the pens and we'll go into a time lapse. at the moment I'm finding this red pen to be difficult to get going. The light green one was very easy and so was the dark green but the red for some reason I, um, I've been shaking it 
and pushing down as you can see the marks here on the paper but it's not coming out as well I mean there's more paint at the moment on the tip than what there was if you can see that it is dark um, paint at the end but um, when I go to, to it's not as smooth at the moment it's getting there it's just that it's taking longer to get it going but hopefully the there is just it was glitchy to begin with I suppose depending on the color will depend on the thickness possibly of the liquid inside the barrel and it might be that some need longer shaking and pumping, perhaps. But the greens are a smoother lay down. As you can see, it's not lasting very long before we have to pump again. The tip of the pen is red, but there's still kind of the white plastic at the top of the nib. I don't know if that has to go or whether it's just the red inside the white nozzle, if that kind of makes sense. I don't know if you can really see on camera. There's a the red part right at the end, but then that is inside a kind of whitey barrel -y thing. And I don't know if that part has to go red too, or whether it's just the little bit that sticks out that is red. That's always confused me with the Poscas. I would say it's more scratchy, the red. And yet this green, the greens are really good. I love doing apples, I have to say. Sometimes when I don't know what I want to draw, um, I will do apples. This apple was actually for my Etsy shop. I hadn't planned on using these pens with uh, this such a big drawing, but then I thought, well, yeah, why not? We can have it part of the tests, see how good they are. And I'm quite impressed, only using the three colours, as you can see at the moment. You can see what I mean about the smoothness, can't you? Because I can go all the way with this dark green, and it isn't um, scratchy like that one. There's more paint at the end of the pen. And these are used, as I've said, for stone decorating or card making or, um, you know, painting like I am on here. Paper, canvas. You can decorate mugs with them. And bake them in the oven so that they are permanent for hand washing. They went over the red, did you see that? This dark green covers other colours. I like that. And they feel quite a substantial pen to hold. They're not bulky. They're quite neat in the hand.
it's nice that they go over the top of each other, even the um, light colours over the dark. I would say that they're more opaque than the Posca pens. Just pushing down on it to get a bit more flow of paint. how smooth the lay down of the ink is considering it's such a fine tipped pen. Please excuse my dog in the background, he likes to communicate when we paint. But the tip, considering it's so extra fine, it isn't making it all patchy. I mean I'm making it patchy deliberately, it isn't a realistic apple. I don't do realism you see, and you'll know that if you follow my channel, you'll know that I do um, imagination, fantasy kind of stuff. And so, just moving the camera a little, the, um, the apple, when finished, is going to look, it is an apple, but it's more of a back of apple, a made up fictional looking apple, because you probably wouldn't want to eat an apple looking like that. <laughs> but uh, it's the shape of an apple, but it probably won't actually look like an apple when I'm finished with it. It's taking a long time to be pumped up to make it work. is what it looks like when finished. Then I was thinking, it wasn't quite finished. So I got some gouache paint, wetted the background and did pale blue for the top and then pale ready pink for the bottom. I also wet around the apple, if you can see here the edges, and then I used these paint pens and the dark green and the red and let it um what would you call it kind of seep into the wet paper it bled that's the word i'm looking for bleeds into the paper to give a more fun effect i wanted it to almost you could kind of say it looks furry or fuzzy and also gives a bit of a 3D effect and it kind of reminds me of um, the um, apple <clears throat> excuse me that Eve Adam and Eve had and um, the the sin of the world I was thinking of titling this artwork because I kind of feel it resembles it for me anyway but you guys will have to 
let me know in the comments below if you have any good titles for this artwork. I would appreciate your opinions because I haven't quite made up my mind yet. And now it's shout out time. This week's shout out goes to MTL and you'll see them in my comment section. Thank you very much for subscribing and commenting and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!